What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Southside TV 2.0, and I'm back with another one. I'm up early in the morning, and you know what they say the early bird gets the worm, and I'm up eating. And before I get into this show, I want to give a special shout out to Skinny Naughty. I love all y'all. Shout out to Jose, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Mr. Skinny. Shout out to T.Y. Shout out to Southern Goddess. Shout out to Black Mumble. Shout out to the whole game. You feel me? And I got this special audio footage that I want to play from Stephen A. Yes, y'all. Stephen A. He is back again. And before I get into it, I want to thank all my new subscribers. And make sure y'all hit that notification bell. And make sure y'all interact with me, man. You know what I'm saying? I like to keep it real and authentic. You know what I'm saying? It's just straightforward with y'all. And this is right now. It's my morning sports time. So I want to get into this Stephen A situation real quick. This man. It seems like there's no end to what this man be saying about Kyrie Irving. And I'm finna play y'all this audio. I didn't stutter. I'm not backing up. I meant every single damn word I said. But that does not mean that what New York has done to him is right. It is not. Kyrie Irving should have never been prevented or prohibited from playing a game at the Barclays Center this season. The city of New York's rule is bogus. It is ridiculous. And it has no business being in place. And Eric Adams, the mayor, who I like, by the way, needs to step up and handle his business in this regard, in this specific regard. We all in or we're out. The governor of New York needs to do the same. We in or we out. What do we now, Stephen A., why would you say that about Kyrie? You're not changing anything you said about Kyrie. I still stand on what I say. But why you didn't have that same energy when they told you to apologize to the Asian baseball player that won the home run derby? Why didn't you have that same energy for Kevin Durant mama when she straight up checked you? Why you didn't have that same energy With Jay. It's sad, bro. It's sad. And you still a weak weasel. And I don't care what you said about Kyrie. This shit is just whack. And you always double talking. Now, you looking like a fool. They finna lift the mandate in New York. Now you want to sit here and say, I still stand on Kyrie. Man, get the fuck out of here, man. Come on, Stephen A. What do I mean by that, Monica? Very simple. How can a visitor come into the Barclays Center and be unvaccinated? How can they be unvaccinated? A visiting player, assuming there was one, I'm not saying there was, but if the rule stated, if a visiting player came into the city unvaccinated, they would be allowed to play at the Barclays Center and Madison Square Garden. How is it that a visitor can come and play, but Kyrie Irving can't play? It makes absolutely no sense. Even the commissioner, Adam Silver, said he was a bit flummoxed. That wasn't the word he used. I'm using that. But he was a bit flummoxed at the fact that that rule was in place. It made no sense. Either you have to be vaccinated in order to play at an indoor facility in New York or not. It shouldn't be well, you're the home team, you're here, so you can't play, but a visitor can come into town and play. It makes absolutely, positively no sense whatsoever. Kyrie Irving 
has been thoroughly screwed over in that regard. There is no excuse for that. Nobody. You either in or you out. Either. Y'all heard that? Now he all on Kyrie nuts at. You see what I'm talking about? This man is a script reading puppet. And it's sad. You damn near. You did. Try to lower Kyrie contract. And it's sad, Stephen A. How can you come back from what you said about Kyrie? How can you come back from that? I don't see no reason. I don't see no comeback. You feel me? You fight me? That is lame what you did, bro. That is lame. You talked about Kyrie Irving so bad to the fact that the whole world noticed your behavior. Stephen A. Stephen A. Jay Williams. Stephen A. You need to chill. You need to chill. You're talking about Kyrie personally. You're not talking about him as a basketball player no more. At this point, it's just personal. You had a problem with Jay Will when he said it. Y'all listen. You have to be vaccinated to participate in competition inside the Barclays Center, or you can't. It can't be the whole team can't play there, but a visitor could come in and play there. That is why I feel that Kyrie Irving should be allowed to play effective immediately. That's where I'm at with it. All right, so this is what I will say, and I have caught heat from some folks for this, but the initial the initial decision I had the capacity to make sense of. In the idea that tourism is a major part of your business, but if you can get your residents on board, then you can help mitigate the the raising the, the headcount of okay. COVID cases, okay. right? Okay. So the first part, okay. I could rationalize. It's, it's a little bit of a funky rule. Yeah, I get it. Maybe it's not fair. But I could understand it in, in the idea that I'm going to get my residents on board. Then at least that group will be protected. And tourism and visitors have to do, get to do what they got to do because they're leaving. Mm -hmm. The second part, though, I agree with you, Stephen. A. If we are going to lift this thing, then it has to be lifted for all. And I don't understand the differentiation mm -hmm. between private sector, right. public, the whole bit. At this point, if, if the mayor decides to move forward with lifting the ban, then Kyrie Irving should return to the court so that we can get Perk back on here when his Brooklyn Nets squad is loaded up again so we can talk about Perk uh, and them 76ers. Well, let me get on you. Okay. Because you disagree with me on the first part. I did disagree. I actually think that it's blasphemous that you disagreed with me. Look how weak he is. I believe her name is Monica. And she's another black uh, black lady. But look what the first thing he said out of this word, his mouth. It's blasphemous. You, you talking like that. So, Stephen A., it ain't blasphemous the way you be talking about all of these black NBA players, all of these black football players. Look how bad you talked about Kevin Durant. Look how bad you talked about Kyrie Irving. You weak, man. You a weak weasel. Be on that part. Okay. Allow me to explain. Please. If indeed they're getting their house in order because tourism is an issue, that would mean business. What did you say? Tourism is business. Yes. Business is about dollars and cents, right? Because I'm a capitalist and proud of it. Let's ain't, do it. A, ain't no shame in my game. Uh -huh. Okay? So we are... He said he a capitalist, and he proud of it. Ain't no shame in his game. Yeah, we all know that, Stephen A. You specifically said on Twitter, I wake up every day and say, how can I get my boss some money, and how can I get a piece of it? Mm, 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 mm. Understand that. Well, last time I checked, Kyrie box office. I'm sure, excuse me, he plays in an arena. You got thousands of people that pack the arenas mm -hmm. all the time looking forward to this box office attraction playing. 
You are prohibiting him from doing so because you're talking about a health crisis that we are dealing with. But you exclude tourism from the equation, not you. I got people who spoke to you. I got you're excluding tourism from the equation because 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 of the bottom line. And I'm I'm just saying the point is the bottom if the bottom line is about tourism and it's about money, that's even less of an excuse to prohibit Kyrie Irving from being available to play and be the showstopper that he is in Brooklyn. You picked tourism and skipped over the part about residents. And as a resident the idea to me was to get residents on board, right? And quite honestly, we would need somebody to give us some numbers. I do believe that Kevin Durant is still box office. Well, and so I don't think the Brooklyn Nets were hurting. Well, time out. First of all, Kyrie lives in Jersey. That's number that, one. That's a that, good that, that, point. That, that, that's number one. All right. So when we talk about residents, the brother lives in Jersey. You all right. So she laughing at Stephen A. Because she know he's a double talking, script reading puppet. She's laughing at Stephen A. And he's not going to say nothing about Kevin Durant because Kevin Durant don't got on his head too many times. Stephen A. only want to talk about the things he want to talk about. He want to stay on script. And she is not staying on script because she know who she's dealing with. A weak, noodle, knee, leg, ass, person that's exactly who Stephen a is come on man they need to fire you bro they need to fire you so because he lives in jersey he travels All right. to the Barclays center to play basketball he exists so, so, there. so so again the point that i'm trying to make is that the resident home team i understand that master square got to the knicks Barclays center the nets in the end, what it comes down to is that the citizens of Brooklyn, New York, okay, and New York City are the people who don't get to see Kyrie Irving perform in person. How can you justify that when tourism is the reason and residency tourism and residency is the reason you would repel this from transpiring? You're based. Stephen A. You're part of the problem that Kyrie Irving couldn't play. You was pushing this mandate so hard. You had everybody on ESPN talking about this situation. You had everybody wind up. Now you want to sit here and just fade away? Nah, bro. We're going to keep cooking your ass all year saying it's about business because if it was all about a health crisis it don't matter tourism don't even matter excuse me when the pandemic first hit it did not matter before 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 the vaccine was available and even after the vaccine was available it still didn't matter we got countries look at the toronto raptors they played all season in front of empty and empty stadium why because the health crisis took precedent so now you're telling me residency tourism that takes precedence well if that takes precedence that's even less of an excuse to prohibit Kyrie Irving from from show from showing up to play at the Barclays Center and and Eric Adams I I like you my brother I appreciate what I'm seeing from you I'm a fan thus far I hope it continues but this is something that you need to modify immediately Kyrie Irving should be allowed to play at the Barclays Center effectively immediately immediately thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content subscribe y'all heard that y'all see what I'm talking about he's just a double talking script reading puppet you're the reason why the media was attacking Kyrie the way that they was doing because of you, Stephen A. You pushed that narrative. Y'all like, share, subscribe. If y'all like, subscribe. And if y'all want to donate to my channel, my cash shop is pinned in my comments. 
You know what I'm saying? Support me in the new movement. It's your boy Southside TV 2.0. Until next time. Don't you <laughs>